show you how to create an email signature in Outlook.com with an image. It's quite simple. Uh, first thing you need to know is you cannot upload a photograph or a picture of any kind from your desktop on your computer to Outlook.com in the signature area. Um, it, the picture, for some reason, has to be or has to come from the internet. So have a think about what the image is, whether or not you can, uh, you know, whether or not you can just take it from Google or, you know, something like that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I've done, and that is uh, I've used Dropbox. But anyway, let's start here. So to create a, a signature, you need to go to the gear symbol, to options, scroll down to under writing email, formatting, font and signature. So what you want to do is under personal signature, you want to create your signature. I've already put my details in here along with my logo. I'm just going to delete that just so I can show you how to do it. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll open up my Dropbox. I'm going to use my Dropbox um, to import an image because I've already uploaded my logo into Dropbox. Um, and obviously it's on the internet. So you can use any image that you put into Dropbox. Keep in mind, notice that I've used a GIF file. Um, I believe that GIFs and PNG files work the best for signature images. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open up this one. Um, what I tend to do is just view the original so it comes up on the web page like that and click and drag it simply straight into there like that. And there you have it. Click save. I'm not gonna click save because I've already done it, but once you're done, go back into outlook.com and go to create a new message. And it should show up there just like that. If you don't know how to make a GIF or a uh, PNG file, there is an online tool which I've used, which is just here, Convert Hub, um, ConvertHub.com. Um, you can upload your images quite simply um, as a JPEG or anything like that, and then you can choose your output file here, GIF, um, PNG, whatever you want to use, and uh, it's quite a quite a good tool online. And uh, that's it. There you have it.